Hey everyone, um, so today's video is just going to be a little bit of general advice um, just to help you out if you're taking A-level chemistry and it's going to be advi like advice on each paper and I'm going to try and fit them all in one video um, so I'm going to do this kind of quickly and it's just like general things to keep in mind and kind of what you really essentially need to study and remember. Um, um, apart from like all the general knowledge, but just to remind you to um, remember these things. So I'm going to start off with paper three, um, and that's the practical paper, and that's a two hour paper. So um, how to prepare for this, this basically the best way of preparation you can have is to do experiments. Um, my teacher used to make us do like from the start of the year in our lab, we would go in on Fridays and do a two hour practical. So he would set it up before we got there. And then when we got there, he would give us the paper and we would start and do it. Um, and it's really good because it doesn't matter if you make mistakes and he's there and you can ask them um, questions, but you basically have the time limit and it's there. So you kind of have a better idea of how you can handle yourself. Um, and how to do um, all the stuff you need to do in a very short time because it is two hours but you will be tight for time because usually um, you have two questions but sometimes you get three um, obviously if it's three they will be easier but if it's three you'll have to change equipment and you might have trouble like changing your mindset to a different experiment um, one thing that you can count on is um, the last question of the paper is pretty much always going to be um, an ions test and what that is is just um, basically you have different solutions of chemicals and they have different names like Fe1, Fe2, Fe3, Fe4 and then you have um, different solutions like you have for example usually you get ammonia and um, you get um, And, uh, sodium hydroxide um, and you have tests for example like calcium and for zinc and for iron like for example for iron you can um, you get like with NaOH you get um, a precipitate and then with NH3 you get different precipitate for example you get like um, a green precipitate which turns brown in contact with air or you get like for example, for iron 3, you get um, red-brown precipitate um, and for and it, it depends like if it's soluble or not and you have to like I know these like I knew them off by heart because you might be asked questions like that include them in paper 2 but in paper 3 you will be given a list so you can look it up but it's always a good idea to know them because it just gives you like more general knowledge um, so basically that'll be the last question with that remember to be accurate and use very little of the solutions because you are given very little so don't waste it because you can't make more the teachers already made as much as you need so you can't uh, add more so be really careful with that then the other questions um, you don't know what you'll get but there are a number of topics they could ask you so they could ask you like uh, um, thermo experiment which is basically um, you either use spirit burners and you have to find out how many moles of, of that was used so basically you find out um, how many kilojoules per mole that um, particular substance can give off and um, the way I suggest you learn because most of the experiments will have calculations that you'll have to do that go with them even the um, thermo experiment and basically you need to get yourself the book that I showed in my how to get an ACR in A-level chemistry video which is the calculations book um, you really should get yourself that because he does go through all of the experiments and he does go through the calculations that they could ask you in all of the experiments so definitely get yourself that book and check it out he has all of them there and it's really really useful that that book you should definitely have it um, so remember that then one more thing is for this paper is um, titrations. You really need to know your titrations like backwards. You need to be able to do them really fast and really well and really and correctly. Like one way that you can do this is our teacher used to give us like a paper three and give us like the 
the value that you would get by doing an experiment. Like for example, um, if you do a titration, you would get um, like a value, which for example, like 45 centimeters cubed. And he would give that to us so we were able to use that value to do the calculation and do that paper without having to do the experiment. So you can really get familiar with titrations because they're really useful and they will ask them in paper two as well. So you really need to be familiar with those. Um, and how to get accurate results, you need to do, know how to draw the graphs for titrations, like initial, final, and then titer. And remember to always put the units in brackets. Um, and also know your errors, know how to calculate errors, which is basically um, the graduation of the instrument you're using. If it goes up in like 31, 32, then you take the division, divide it by two, um, and then you divide that by your value that you have, that you've got, times by 100, and that gives you the um, percentage error. And if it's a burette, you need to do the error twice. So if the division is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, you get one because you're doing it twice. Remember, you have initial and then final. Um, for paper one, general advice is just, um, it is quite a tough paper because the questions can be tricky. So basically just know all your knowledge. For example, these, you need to know them as well. Know all your reactions. Here I have a list of reactions you can get. Like when you go through the syllabus, there's reactions that you have to know and I made like a list of them. So you have to know them all. And what I did was I did one without the the end of this so this was not there so I could write it in myself just make sure you know all of them um, you know colors you know like flame tests you need to know the syllabus well so just go through it um, and make sure you know all the knowledge organics I talked about it in the video before but I couldn't find the scheme and I have found one this is basically what it looks like so you see that um, you have like alkanes and then how to go to alkenes um, dials and these are like the reactions with the conditions and I use like colors to code them. I really recommend you make this. I don't think there's any other way you can learn it unless you make this. You need this. Even for a two, you need to make these because you need to get smart with your learning. If not, you're never gonna learn them. I'll show you how I did it for a two. This is the A2 one with benzenes. Again, it's a diagram scheme like this. And also you need to know your tests. Remember you have to know your tests. And for paper two, general advice, just know everything. I made lists with like definitions as well, if you can see that, all the definitions. You need to know them because those are easy marks that you can't afford to lose um, just because you aren't prepared. So make sure you know everything, that you're confident with all the topics. Anything you don't know, don't just like, when you're learning it in classroom, just go whatever, get home. Go through what you've done and if there's something you don't know, look it up on the internet, on the website I showed you. Um, chem guide, look it up there, read it, reread it, maybe watch a few videos. Um, if you ever need help, you can um, comment below and I'll try and help out, I'll be, um, I don't mind. Um, and that's pretty much it, that's just like general advice. If you want anything more specific, just ask me in the comments again, I'll be happy to reply. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, just study hard and everything should go great. Bye guys.